Hi everyone, this is Mehmo Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lecturer's management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I have completed the functionality of user login system. And in this video I will discuss about protecting my private pages from unauthorized access. Okay, so let me just show you with the help of an example with which you can clearly understand what we are going to achieve in this video you know let me just uh, log out from this application okay, so now this is our login page so now as you guys have already seen that in my earlier videos I had created three controllers user controller okay, and admin controller and login controller Okay, and we need to protect all these controllers from unauthorized access. Okay, so now I'm in my login controller. So from this login controller, if I want to access admin controller without getting logged in from the URL, if I try to access the admin controller, then again I should redirect it back to the login page. Okay, and from this login page, if I want to access user, okay, if anyone tries to access the user controller, then again I should come back to the login controller. Okay, this thing we need to develop in this video. Okay, so now one more thing. So uh, let me just log into the system. Okay, so now I will click on submit. Okay, so now I have logged into my system from here since I have logged in already if I want to go back to the login page by writing down the URL of that controller login then I should not allow it. I should redirect it back to the users controller okay so now I am in my user controller from this point if anyone wants to access the admin controller then it should not allowed okay so I should send the user back to the user page okay now let me just log out from here and let me just log in as a admin now I have logged in as an admin so since I have logged in as an admin and if I if anyone wants to access the user's controller by typing in the URL as user then I should display the user as a message as access denied okay because this user controller is belongs to only users okay no other user can access this user controller exactly the same way the admin controller is related only to admin only admin can access this controller not users okay let me just log out okay so this is how we need to protect our controllers we need to protect our private pages from being accessed by unauthorized user okay so all this we will be going to see in this video okay so before starting this video I, I just want to tell you that if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you will get continuous updates of my upcoming videos whenever I upload it on my channel okay so now let us start our discussion on protecting our private pages from unauthorized access okay so for that we need to go to our project okay so here as you guys have already seen in my last videos I had created admin controller user controller login controller okay so these are my major controllers in these three controllers I have written my code okay so now if anyone tries to access this admin controller without getting logged in then as I have told you earlier then in that case I should redirect that user again back to the login page okay so let me just show you that okay so this is my project okay this is lectures 
log out okay so now i'm not logged in now not even a user and an admin is logged in now at this point when the session is completely destroyed if anyone tries to access the admin controller then i should redirect back the user to the login page okay so for doing that here i have written the code as if the session user id okay so whenever i will be uh, logging into the system the i will be taking the id of that user and storing that inside the session okay if that user id is not been stored inside the session that means i am not logged in right now if i am not logged in and even if i try to access the admin controller then i again redirected it back to the login page okay so this is what this first two lines tells you okay so i hope you have understood the purpose of these first two lines okay now the second thing is here i have taken another if condition where i am setting uh, where i am checking for the user level okay so here in my last video you have seen that at the time of user login i had stored level detail as well inside the session okay and this level value stores either one or two whenever an admin gets logged in the level will be one and whenever a normal user gets logged in the level will be two okay so now let me come back to the admin okay so here so in this if condition i have taken the level value from the session and i am checking that value with two okay so now why i have taken this because suppose if an admin gets logged in okay so now i will just log in as an admin okay now i will click on submit now an admin has logged in so now the level value will be 1 for admin okay so at this point if i tries to access the user controller okay then i should be represented access denied view okay because here since admin has logged in and the level value for the admin is 1 and if at this point if i tries to access the user controller and that user controller can only be accessed by those users whose level value will be 2 since now admin has logged in and for admin the level value is 1 so if anyone tries to access the user controller from admin controller then i should display them a message as access denied okay see if i tries to access the user controller it's displaying me access denied that's what i have written here not found okay and that not found controller i am calling the not found controller here okay so here that controller i have written here which extends base class controller coordinator controller and inside this controller not found controller i am making a call to not found view and that view i have created here which has a message as access denied okay so uh, this is how i am protecting my admin controller from unauthorized access now as you know that i have an other controller which is user controller which can only be accessed by the users okay so here the same type of coding i have written here in user.php file in user controller okay so again let me just log out here admin okay now admin has logged in i will log out from the admin session okay so now no one has logged in not even a user or admin if at this point anyone tries to access the user controller without getting logged in with the help of this url bar then i should redirect back to the login page okay so for developing that functionality i have used 
a if condition here i am checking if the user id value stored inside the session is not set that means if the user has not logged in and even after that any user is trying to access the user controller from the url bar without the without entering proper email and password then i should redirect it back that user to the login page okay so for that i have written these two lines of code and here as well since i am discussing for user controller and this user controller can only be accessed by those users whose level value is 2 okay and i have already told you that level value 1 is for admin and level value 2 is for normal users okay now if a user whose level value is not 2 which is 1 in this case tries to access the user controller then it will display that user as not found message okay so now what i will do is i will log in as a normal user okay so now i have entered the credentials of normal user who is already been registered to this application and when i click on submit a dashboard of normal user gets open okay so now from here if i tries to access the controller of admin okay then it will give me a message as access denied because the user will have the level of 2 and from here if i tries to access the controller of admin whose level will be 1 then it will display you access denied message okay so what i am saying is from the user controller if anyone tries to access the admin controller then i should not allow that user to access that controller okay for that i have written these two lines of code okay so now uh, here as well i am making a call to the not found controller which i have written here and from here i am making a call to not found view which is this okay so i hope you have understood uh, both admin and user how to protect admin from the users normal users and how to protect users from the admin okay so now the next thing is login controller inside login controller i am checking that if an admin gets logged in then i should redirect that user to the admin controller and when a normal user tries to get logged in then i should redirect that user to the user controller okay so that's what i'm doing here i'm taking the user id data from the session and i'm checking the person who tries to log in to the system is having a user id as one okay and the admin is having the user id as one okay let me just show you that inside the database so now i am in my lecturers database and i have created a tbl users to store the details of all the users so now as you can see this first record belongs to the admin because you can see the level is one and level one is for admin and this second record belongs to a normal users because the level for this second row is 2 and the user id you can see here for the first row the user id is 1 and the second row the user id is 2 okay so here i am checking based on the user id okay so whenever an admin tries to log into the system i will check the admin's user id if the admin's user id who is stored inside the session will be 1 then i will redirect that user to the admin controller otherwise i will redirect that user to the user's controller because if it is not an admin then it must be a normal user okay so that's why i will be redirecting that user to the user's controller and here i am also checking that condition if the user id stored inside the session is not one or if it is greater than one in this case it will be two okay then in that case i will redirect that user to the users controller and it will come here in the users controller and it will make a call to this index function and inside that index function i have loaded the user dashboard okay so this is how i can protect my controllers from being accessed by unauthorized users okay so uh, this is an important functionality because whatever the features of admin 
we are developing in this system these features should not get access by the users and whatever are the functionalities of users those functionalities cannot be accessed by any other controller so we have to uh, make a proper adjustment to protect both of these controllers from being accessed by unauthorized access okay so uh, i hope you understood everything whatever we have discussed in this complete video uh, of uh, protecting the private pages or protecting our controllers from unauthorized access okay so uh, let me just now log out from this okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you have understood each and every point of this video okay and uh, that's all for this video and thanks for watching